Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to go through my skincare drawer and we are going to declutter it and organize it because obviously it is a huge mess. I don't know how it got this bad, but it has to be fixed because I am tired of looking at it. All right, so this first product is my Renee Rouleau Moisture Protecting Cleanser. Definitely going to keep this because this is my favorite cleanser. I got this about six weeks ago and I have fallen in love with it. Now, this is another Renee Rouleau product I am loving. It is the Soothing Eye Makeup Remover. Definitely keeping that. And then I have this Paula's Choice Hydrating Treatment Mask. I really like this um, as just like a 20 minute treatment. You can use it overnight, but I usually just rinse it off. But I am gonna put this in my mask drawer. So that's gonna go with the other masks. Okay, so this is my mint buffing beads from Renee Rolo. This is a scrub, but it's so soft. This is like the only scrub that I still have because it's so gentle on my skin and um, it's really, it's a physical exfoliator, but just it's, you'd have to try it. It's so soft. So I'm definitely keeping that. This is my Ulla Henriksen True Serum. Of course I'm keeping this. This is my most repurchased skincare item. I have bought this more than any other skincare item. I love the way it makes my skin look. It just gives it a little bit of plump, a little bit of glow. Love it. This is uh, definitely a regret. It is an Evlom sunscreen. It's just too expensive for what it is. Um, I don't notice the difference between this and any other sunscreen, but I want to get my money's worth, so I'm definitely going to keep it and use it up because it's sunscreen. It works. Down in here, this is an It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Cream. I actually really like this. It is very cooling, but I don't notice that there's any like real effect to it. Um, so I have a different eye cream that I use um, for like anti-aging, but this one is cooling and feels nice, so I'll probably try to use it up. Um, I like it in the morning. This is my SkinCeuticals AGE Eye Complex. This is the eye cream I'm using for you know anti-aging. I use it at night. It has a very good balm texture, and that's what I love most about it. I, I've really been enjoying this, so I'm going to keep this in my drawer and in my routine, of course. Oh, gosh, where to go next? Um, this Renee Rouleau Triple Berry Smoothing Peel. I used this in my at-home facial video. I love this peel. It really does smooth your skin out. It really does brighten. I really, really love this, and I like that it's only a 5 to 10-minute peel so it's not like super time intensive i have a couple that are like 20 minutes i like that that one's shorter this will stay in my we'll go to my mask drawer this is the skin ce ferulic i really wanted this for so long uh and i have noticed a lot of like good benefits from it but it's 166 dollars for this one fluid ounce so i just don't know yet if I'd recommend it, but I, I am using it daily, so it will stay in here. This is my moisturizer. This is actually came from my husband's dermatologist. I really like this as a moisturizer in the morning. It's very light, so it's odd that I like it. I usually like more medium weight moisturizers, but I really like this. It's missing the lid. Um, hopefully we'll find that in here. So this will stay in my drawer. Let's see what next. Um, this is an empty truth serum. I don't know why it's still in here. It needs to be thrown away, it's empty. This is the Ulla Henriksen Glow Cycle Retinol Power Serum. I really enjoy this serum as a daytime serum. Um, it's got like a purple kind of tone to it that really brightens my skin, but I'm using that SkinCeuticals one and this is empty, so it needs to just be thrown away. Um, this is the Origins Clear Improvement active charcoal mask. I only use this when I do my at-home facial, which I I have that video. I will link it in the eye above. That's the only time I use this mask. So I feel like it just needs to go in my mask drawer. So I'm going to put it with my masks. This is my Tatcha One Step Camellia Cleansing Oil. This is the first step of my two-step cleanse. I always do a two-step cleanse. This is the first step, this oil, I love it. So this will stay in the drawer. This is the Ulla Henriksen Goodnight Glow Retinol Sleeping Cream. This came with that retinol serum, the daytime serum. I tried this a couple times. I just, it's not heavy enough for me for a nighttime moisturizer. So I'm gonna give it away. Maybe my mom will like it. She tends to like lighter weight moisturizers than I do. So I'm gonna give it to her. 
This is my daughter's. Uh, this is like a sponge slash comb that I use for her bath time. This is a cashmere hair extension shine spray. It should be in my hair drawer, so it's gonna get moved to the hair drawer. This is the Chorus Greek Yogurt Foaming Cream Cleanser. I really like this cleanser, and I did use it before I found the Rene Rollo, but the Rene Rollo is like, it has replaced it, so I'm gonna give this away. This'll go, uh, this is getting decluttered. This is the Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. This is another that's gonna get decluttered. I used to use it, but I have since found a nighttime moisturizer that I like better. And this is the one, this is the Rene Rollo Glow Enhancing Cream. This is what I use at night. I absolutely love this moisturizer. It's a good medium-ish heavyweight moisturizer. It's not heavy, it's about medium, but I really like this. I love Rene Rollo. I've found so many good products there. So this is my nightly moisturizer. Um, I am going to obviously keep this in my skincare drawer here. I love this cream so this is staying in the drawer okay this my tlc from moose from junk elephant i love this i talk about it so much lately so i'm gonna move on from it but uh here's another this is an empty one so i'll put that aside for an empties video this is also empty this is the origins drink up intensive um this is an empty one so i don't need that uh this r and co television hair mask i want to try this that's why i put it in here but i feel like it should probably go in my hair drawer so i'm going to move this over to my hair drawer so that i actually remember to try this out all right this is my rose deep hydration facial toner it's an empty though so we're gonna put that away uh this is a spoolie i'm gonna toss Oh, what next? Oh, this will go in my mask drawer. I like these Sephora sheet masks. They're nice, cheap. They do the job. Um, another Ulla Henriksen True Serum Empty. I'm obsessed, obviously. Uh, gosh, I, that's going in Empty's video. Uh, oh, my gosh. I always keep a scrunchie in here just in case I don't happen to have one on my head already, which I normally do by the evening time. Uh, this is a Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Brows. So this should definitely go in my makeup drawer, um, but I might declutter it. This is uh, the Drunk Elephant TLC from Boost, but the mini, this mini actually comes in a set um, from Sephora with their Marula face oil, which I also love. So if you haven't heard me talk about this serum before, I will link in the eye one of the videos in which I go into detail about it. If you're wanting to try it, but you know, nervous about that $90 price tag like I was, buy the mini duo first. And then this will give you about, I got about two weeks out of it um, when I originally got it. So highly recommend doing that just so you can know for sure if your skin is going to like it. It's empty, so I'm gonna trash it. All right, here's a little lid. <laughs> this actually goes to this. This is the Dr. Jarts Premium BB Beauty Balm. This is like my favorite tinted moisturizer, um, BB cream, whatever you wanna call it. So um, this needs to go with my makeup, actually. I use it on light, light makeup days, really, so that's why I had it in my skin chart skincare drawer, but it's going to get moved. Uh, this is another item that needs to go to my makeup drawer. This is the Hourglass uh, Ambient Lighting Palette. So it's just got three highlighters in it, the Dim Light, Incandescent, and Radiant. This needs to go to my makeup drawer, so let's move it over there. Uh, this is the lid to, oh, this is the lid to my moisturizer that I was searching for. So I believe, let's, yep, it fits. So that has its lid now. Um, let's go to this proteiny polypeptide cream. I did not like this and it came highly recommended. Here's my helper coming. Hello, little helper. <laughs> so like I said, this came highly recommended, but I just didn't like it. Um, it was too lightweight for me and it never felt like it really sunk into my skin. I felt like it just slipped over the top and never really moisturized me very well. This is the Tom Ford, the $150 foundation I tried, but this is the shade Fawn. So this is not my shade. I have two. Um, this one was too dark. I had picked up two shades and then this one was too dark. I ended up going with buff. So I was going to send this back, but I feel bad to do that after, you know, it's been like two months. So this shade probably will work for my mother. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send that to her and let her try it out, see if she likes it. So she'll get some use out of it. So that is going to go live at her house. It is being decluttered. 
All right, this is the Drunk Elephant Shaba Complex Eye Serum. I used to really like this, but you can see it's pretty old, and I have other eye stuff I use now, so I'm gonna declutter it. I think it needs to go in the trash. It's pretty, pretty old. This Nurse Jamie tool, I got this because of the Hilary Duff uh, Vogue video, because she was using one, but I got black, because you know I wanted to be different. Uh, but I need to actually like, I'm glad my drawer's gonna be organized, because I need to actually get some use out of this. So I'm gonna leave it in here and try to remember to use it. Um, this drawer organizer that you see in here was actually meant to go in the kitchen and be used for spices, um, but it was too tall. So since this drawer is really deep and really narrow, um, I put it here um, and it works really well with the slant so that I can see everything and fit everything. So I will link that down below. All right, starting up with my um, the stuff I used to clean my face, I'm going to put it towards the back because generally it's taller, so to me it makes more sense for it to be in the back so that um, it doesn't block the other stuff from view. I'm going to switch these two. I just put my two cleansers and my eye makeup remover in there, and then on the second shelf, I think I'm going to go with serums. I don't know, that seems, those are like the next tallest. So I'm going to put down um, my Drunk Elephant TLC from Mousse, my SkinCeuticals CE Ferulic, my Truth Serum from Ula Hendrickson, and let's see if my two eye creams will fit. No, they do not fit. Um, I don't want to leave that one alone, so I'm going to put those down here for right now, and then I'm going to see uh, where they'll fit later. I'd I don't know. I'm just kind of have to do what I can because this is such a narrow drawer, but it's the most convenient one for me in the morning to use when I'm getting ready. So I don't want to move stuff around too much. So I'm going to put in my mint buffing beads and my glow enhancing cream, both from Renee Rouleau. I use these almost every day. Um, put those down here. I think I'm going to try to put, no, my moisturizer is definitely not going to fit there. So we're going to have to do a little bit of rearranging um, and put that there. And then maybe this, mm, I don't really like that sitting up like that. I prefer for things to look more neat. I'm going to take out this It Cosmetics for right now. And then what I'm going to do is maybe put these like kind of like sideways. I think maybe that can work. Let's see. Yeah. Put them sideways. No, I'm gonna switch these two because I use these SkinCeuticals more often than the A Cosmetics. I prefer for it to be uh, the one that's on top. So get everything facing outwards. Perfect. All right, now I'm putting in this Evolm sunscreen. Flip it upside down. It'll fit. Um, I usually put that on right before that, uh, right after that moisturizer. So that makes sense. My Nurse Jamie tool. I've definitely got to put this in here because I need to remember to use it. I'm going to put it up here with my um, face washing things. I think that's it. I think, oh, my Rose Hydration Facial Toner. I, there's, like, nowhere I could put this that's not going to be, like, a mess, I don't think. It's just going to block stuff, and I don't like that. Um, I've been leaving it on top of the bathroom counter, and I think that's what I'm going to continue to do because it's just, it's so tall. Normally, I have the travel size one so it fits in here but I purchased the larger one since I didn't feel like we were going to be traveling much and I just I feel like it's too big to go in here with everything I don't like it blocking um my view so I'm just going to continue to leave it on top of my bathroom sink I don't know I'm fine leaving it up there I think it's really pretty so I almost forgot my Origins Drink Up Intensive. This is a mask. Um, <laughs> just throw things all the time, I swear. This is a mask, but uh, I use it. Well, it's an overnight mask, and I use this probably, I would say, two or three times a week. So I'm going to put it down here with my glow enhancing cream and my mint buffing beads because I do use it pretty frequently, and I just prefer for it to be in here rather than in my mask drawer. So I think now... I'm finished, so let's look at the before and after. I know this world. 